these go as, as we plan them to go. Uh, Nick Chris with the Los Angeles Times. I know your main concern now is only getting to the moon and getting back, but I wonder if you could tell us just briefly what you think the uh, role of the country space program is going to be in the next few years and what roles you would like to play in it. Where it's going, in other words, not after the next lunar shots, but five, ten, eight years from now. That's a very big question, and uh, one, the subject to which a good deal of attention has been directed in, in recent months, and part of our agency, and the Department of Defense, and the Space Council, and the Administration, and the Congress. Uh, and there's a very active interest by, by the people of the nation, too, in what direction this effort that has been mounted over the last decade shall be, shall be pointed. Uh, I wish that I could have had the time in recent months to uh, listen to, to those discussions and participate in them. I'm, I suspect that uh, many of you are, are much more up to date than, than we are in terms of those kinds of programs. Uh, I, I certainly think that the direction uh, that we will go is beginning to gel. I see evidences at our level that, that people are beginning to home in on things that look practical. Uh, and uh, I don't know what those, those agency and national decisions will be at this point, but uh, certainly all the front runners, space station, the... Uh, Space Shuttle, the Lunar Shuttle, Advanced Lunar Exploration, and the Early Planetary Expo Explorations are, are the contenders to reckon with, and I certainly think that those will be the ones from which our, our early goals are, are selected. Uh, Daily Mail, London. Two questions. Firstly, what precautions have been taken at your own homes to prevent you catching germs from your own families? And secondly, is this the last period you, you'll spend at home here with your families? Take back that mic. My wife and children have signed a statement that they have no germs and... Uh, <laughs> yes. yes, this will be the, the last weekend that we'll be home with our family. So seriously, there, there are no special precautions being taken. I suppose if one of the kids came down with measles or some childhood disease which we uh, had not had previously, then we would uh, take measures to separate ourselves from them. However, in the absence of some uh, overt evidence that they're ill, uh, we are taking no precautions. I have two questions. Uh, what do you anticipate will be the most difficult task that you have to perform during your walk on the moon? And second, what do you plan to do in your spare time when you're back in the LRL, when you're cooped up all this time in between deep briefings and business? With regard to the first question, most probably the most difficult part of the lunar surface work isn't on the surface, it's in the LEM cockpit. The preparation for the activities on the surface the, uh, and the work subsequent to the EVA when we again have to, to operate the pressurized suit inside the, the lunar module cockpit. Those are certainly the most difficult, possibly the most tiring, and uh, certainly the most potentially hazardous of, of, the, of the things that go on, not generally recognized by the average bystander because it's difficult for those activities, those long preparation activities to be adequately displayed to, to someone uh, due to the close confines of the cockpit, but it's certainly, a, I think, uh, one that, that we view with the uh, 
a good deal of, of caution. One part of the flight that we do with extreme care and, and uh, one that at this point in time we have high confidence in success of. Now the second question with respect to the LRL, fortunately, I guess the activities will be very much like the activities uh, subsequent to any other flight in terms of their mechanical detail. It is post-flight schedule in terms of briefings, debriefings with various interested groups of, uh, of the program will take place just as though uh, just as though they have on previous flights. The only difference will be that our communication will be via TV link and, uh, and hired wire rather than face to face as we are here today. So one, one point to uh, the first question. Uh, difficult things in EVA should be anticipated. We have attempted to anticipate all difficult things and to make them as easy as possible. I think the most critical portion of the EVA is will be our ability to anticipate and to interpret things that appear not to be as we expected them to be. Because if we don't interpret them correctly, then they will become difficult. Mr. Armstrong, at the time you step down on the moon, what will be your overriding consideration and what will be your main concern? Well, immediately upon touchdown, our concern is the integrity of the lunar module itself. And uh, probably wise to point out that immediately after touchdown, and, uh, and as a matter of fact, for the first two hours after touchdown, we have a very busy time verifying the integrity of the lunar module and all its systems. Without that integrity, of course, we are unable to complete the remaining objectives and we cannot safely continue with the, the lunar surface work and we cannot safely again return uh, to lunar orbit. So that, of course, is the most important thing and it'll, it, it will evidence itself to you all here by a great deal of uh, technical discussions about systems between the spacecraft and the ground uh, during a time period when most people will be wondering, well, what does it look like out there or what do you see? And we understand that desire for everyone to know those kinds of things that I'm sure we'll be eager to comment on, but reluctant to do so in the face of these more important considerations on which the success of the entire rest of the lunar mission depends. 